Alright, what's good, y'all? It's your boy L Share Rod254 being tuned in for another one. Uh Yeah, this is gonna be the last one. Um uh, Hey guys, um uh, so I was doing some research, watching some videos, and I think I wanna go get this um steel ATV slash motorcycle lens. From what I watched online, a lot of people were you know, it's it's a decent lift. Uh, they don't have it in my local store, but they have it in Georgetown, which is about 32 miles away. Uh, I've been kind of stuck in the house here for the last too long. So I'm, I'm with it. I'm with all the shit. Um, we've been in the house pretty much since been in the house pretty much since the accident, which to date, it haven't even been a week. But I am moving around a whole lot better. Like, I'm, I'm almost ready to ride. I'm almost ready to get back on. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I wanna have I wanna be able to be able to lift the you know lift the bike up. Uh I'm venturing around finding other YouTubers that do this stuff. Uh I'm not new to YouTube. I'm new to YouTube on this channel, but I have another channel. But <clears throat> finding people in the Harley Davidson Harley Davidson slash DIY space is what i hope to come across the most so that i am able to work on my own bike because i am a little bit a little bit mechanically inclined you know um so yeah um so let me just show y'all so the the highway bar uh the highway pigs or whatever there Let's say I uh, just says Harley Davidson on it. <laughs> um, this is not the side that the bike fell on. Uh, it was this side. <clears throat> I wasn't sure I was on. I wasn't sure I was ready to show the world. You know what I'm saying, but you know it is. It is what it is, man. Shout out to my people that reached out to me. I was like, yo, you know, just um, don't beat yourself up about it. I'm saying get back out there, get back to it. So I'm gonna start from the back. I'm gonna go to the front, show y'all the damage. And it's like I said, it's really honestly not that bad, to be honest. Uh, it's all cosmetic after I did, cause where the accident happened, it happened like 15 miles away. So uh, I was able to still pick the bike up, ride it home, and yeah. So, no further ado, uh, starting at the back of the bike, everything looks good until you get right here. So, you got a little scuff, a little baby scuff, and then just a little bit more major scuffage. Uh, this part is probably going to have to be replaced, and you got a little scuff right there. Little scuff right there. A scuff right here on the lid. Honestly, the worst part of this is this bag cracked. This bag did crack. It did go all the way through. You know it is. It is what it is. Um if you but it honestly if you look at it. I mean, of course, I mean, it probably means some, 
probably need some air or some water. <laughs> air can get in there. Water can get in there. I mean, I don't think that... I don't think this is anything that super glue can fix, but, you know, <laughs> replace the, replace the lid. I think we'll be good to go. Um, I still got a whole another bag over there on the other side. <clears throat> can be used. So that took a good amount of the damage there. So once again, right there, like this right here. Took a good brunt of the damage uh, right there on the corner. So that's the lid. So the bag itself is actually not that bad, you know. So moving forward, this is this stuff I really kind of looked at? Um, it look like the rear pegs is good. Uh, shout out to the like I'm I'm new to the Harley space, if you haven't known. Uh, but yeah, the crash bar, it definitely saved my damn bike life. It wasn't at high speed of a crash. It was a low speed crash. I mean, it wasn't ten, but it wasn't sixty neither. So, shout out to the crash guard. Uh, that being my first experience with it, I will probably. Live by it, die by it. You know what I'm saying? I will be an avid, avid advocate for this crash bar, which also took a good brunt of the damage on that and the highway pig. Uh, if you look at it, I'm trying to, I'm looking at it, and I think I might have, so this is, this is what it looks like on this side, so, it's like, boom, like that, so I think when I go to the other side, I want to say, I mean, it, it. I want to say it probably bent it, bent it a little, because if you look at the angle here, if you look at the angle there, I'm trying not to get my ugly ass feet now, but yeah, if you look at the angle there, and then you back though, and then you look at the angle from the other way. Hold on, let me get this. All right, so this is even a better way to look at it. So, this straight up, that one's, you can tell where that one was bent. So, that's gonna have to be replaced. At first, I was looking like, oh, we might could get away with it, but no, that thing took that thing took some damage, and it's gonna have to be replaced. So, uh, I can either go through the dealership because I've been doing some research. Either go through the dealership and get one from them, or. Uh, Hogwarts and some other companies make them. Amazon sells them, but I'm going to be honest with you. The Amazon ones, I read the reviews. Oh, uh, and I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm a firm believer in you get what you pay for. And yeah, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable. Being that I have been in a low speed accident <clears throat> and I can attest to the fact that these highway bars can, in fact, save your life and your bike, then I don't want to put no, I don't want to put no mid 
You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put nothing mid-grade or low-grade on there because it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? It's like cheaper insurance. You know what I'm saying? Like, can you imagine what would have happened if I had put or if I had some bullshit bars on there versus, you know, the OEMs or, you know, whatever. Hogwarts, I think, so. Hogwarts, from what I've read, they have a great quality product. Same as OEM equivalent, uh, but the the ones on ones on Amazon for eighty bucks, man. I I, I had no faith in them. I had no faith. Uh, so move, yeah, moving on. Like I said, everything else. Like I said, that caught most of it, and then the last and final place that we got damaged is right here. Um. Right here on the fairing. What I say, man, is it's it's not it's not terrible. Like unless you just really staring my bike up and down, like you really can't even tell. Like I think my road rash was more than damn that, so uh so yeah, that's the that's the plan. Um, uh, first things first is going to be the crash guard because they saved my life and my bike. So I'm definitely going to replace that. Uh, as far as the cosmetic stuff with the bags and stuff, man, I'm not, I'm not that concerned about it right now, to be honest with you. Uh, unfortunately from the research that I've done, you can only buy the bags or it is, I won't say you can only, I, what I will say is that it is cheaper to buy aftermarket bag sets than it is to buy from the dealership, the bag separately, the lid separately, and then hell, all of these is like its own little part number. So like this is like the reflector, this part right here. So technically like this is, I believe that's okay. But technically I could replace this here. You know what I'm saying? That part could be replaced. But because it's, because it's lead is cracked, like that's out of there. And I mean, honestly, I could get away with, I don't know, maybe scuffing, scuffing and shooting on the bag itself. So, so the only thing for show, for show, that got to get replaced, lid, and then it's cover here, and then of course with that would have to be the reflector. And I don't know, like I said, if y'all, I'm new, I'm, I'm brand new to the Harley game. Uh, Apparently, Harleys don't like going over tracks that way. Um, like I said, it was it was I was going too fast. I didn't know that bump was that aggressive. I'm pretty sure that I fucking froze up like a little little bitch, and I fucking grabbed the shit out of my brake, locked up the front, and maybe went down, or it just bucked and threw me off. So because I don't see. I mean, I don't see any damage to the front. Like, none whatsoever, so. I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, if you have any suggestions for buying replacement parts and everything, please let me know. Put it down in the comments section below. Uh, also... Uh, body work. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm dabbling in it on cars, but is that, is that even a thing for motorbikes? Is that even a thing? Cause I'm pretty sure, pretty sure when that was sliding, like it, it doesn't have the same smooth contour that it does here. 
and like it now it's like at an angle so now the wind don't even glide across that motor like that <sighs> so but yeah all good though appreciate y'all tuning into the video it's your boy LSA Rod 254 remember identify your weaknesses make your strength life is all about choice to choose wildly fuck sorry y'all Creature habit. Thank y'all for watching my video. Thank y'all for watching my video. Rate or like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.